Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. It's great to see all you out there today, and uh, welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2 with John and my favorite Hollywood historian and all-around good buddy uh, that we've been out in COVID with uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, Manny Pacheco. Yeah, Manny, I love the way good I, to I, see I, you. there, guys. I love the way you introduced John as if as if he were Cher or Fabio or Madonna. Just one name, yeah. John. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know that John is one of those names that you only give one name to. Yeah, actually, John is oh, John is so wait, amazing. Oh, wait, John is so <laughs> amazing. Is last Sorry, John is so amazing. Okay, that other people have been adopting that as a first name. That's how. Well, I, that's how uh, amazing John is. And you can call me Mr. John. Mr. <laughs> hey, Manny. Um, a, a little while ago, uh, in a couple of videos way back when, we were talking about uh, licorice pizza and uh, uh, Seymour Hoffman's son, mm-hmm. Cooper that's Hoffman, Philip new Seymour actor. Hoffman, yeah. Uh, kind of a new, a second generation of the Hoffman clan, if you will. Right. But it made me think back to classic Hollywood and the Barrymore clan, and that that was a real dynasty, wasn't it? The, the well, and, it, and it's something I love to talk about. As you know, I'm I'm trying to put in production a a documentary about the life of Lionel Barrymore. So the Barrymores are close to my heart as far as their history. Starts with their father, who was an actor and an alcoholic, unfortunately. But he also uh, spawned a, a two brothers and uh, a, a daughter, two sons and a daughter. And uh, John Barrymore was just, I mean, prolific in silent films with his great profile. But Lionel and Ethel came along. Uh, Lionel was very popular in silence, but not as an actor, as a director. He did he did do some acting, but his uh, direct directing style was really good. Is but when really? talkies came along, um, John, Ethel, and uh, Lionel ended up on screen. Lionel being the most successful. Lionel and Ethel both winning Oscars, and of course the granddaughter or the granddaughter uh, of uh, of John Barrymore, Drew Barrymore, lives on, and I I believe she recently retired from film. Really? She's, yeah, she's going to just stick to television now. Uh, kind of following in the footsteps of Ellen DeGeneres and trying huh. to uh, become a talk show host. We'll see if yeah. she stays away from films, you know. Forever. Well, she's very, she's very talented, and and yeah. um, you know she's been a producer, produced some <laughs> terrific stuff as well as an actress. Right. So I'm, I'm sure she'll be very good at whatever she does. Do you suppose there were? Uh, I can't recall any other uh dynastic families in the golden age were there any comparable we're talking about you know numbers probably not as prolific as as the barrymores but i mean there were some families that are very notable uh, you know and and successful the, the most the most noted uh olivia de havilland and joan fontaine oh um, that's right they were sisters that's right and jo- joan fontaine's real name is joan de havilland yes so yes. <laughs> But she changed her name. She didn't want to live in the shadow of her sister. Yet she was the first one to win an Oscar before her sister, although her sister won two later. They had a very famous feud because of the fact that Fontaine had won the Oscar first. And and, and by the way, in winning the Oscar first, uh, you know, you got to remember that Olivia de Havilland did have a chance, but lost to Hattie McDaniel and Gone with the Wind. Mm. So, I mean, Joan Fontaine uh, lived to be like 98. Uh, I mean, she lived a long time, uh, but was outlived by her sister. And, and, and her sister in characteristic style said, well, she did everything work first. She won an Oscar first. She died first. She always does everything before me. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that was her younger sister. Uh, you no, know, there are probably a lot that we could we could list off on uh, modern day, at least uh, a parent child kind of situation. But going back to the golden age, uh, what about the Foys? Uh, did what? oh the oh yes Eddie Foy yeah. and, and and the seven little Foys. Uh, they were they they did not have as big a screen career. They were in vaudeville. Uh, Eddie Foy did appear on screen, as did Eddie Foy Jr. 
And the Foys, you know, that that's a real clan of a family. I mean, they were all very, very talented. Good call, Art. Boy, you just reached in and pulled out a gem. Uh, Bob Hope, I believe, played one of the uh, yeah. played the father yeah. Foy. You bet. Uh, in in a very a very well known film. I mean, it was really good. Uh, I would have liked to have seen them more, you know, in a in in more films. But you also remind me of the Ritz brothers mm -hmm. and the Marx brothers. brothers. Of oh, course, Marx brothers. Of course. Huge, huge uh, success as as uh, actors. And then that, that's course. there were there may have been five or six Marxes. But there were four on screen, uh, you know, while at Paramount, and and three the, the three remaining while at MGM. So I mean, who can forget Harpo and Chico and Zeppo and of course yeah. Show Mark. So, yeah, that's a prolific family right there. Four brothers who came out yeah. of vaudeville and then ended up uh, on screen, as did the Ritz brothers mm. too. So, yeah, and then if you want to talk about dynastic families, if you want to talk about brothers, we can't forget really the filmmakers known as Warner. You know, all oh. the Warner Brothers mm -hmm. as well. I mean, yeah. they weren't actors, but they were producers of fine film. Yeah. Headed by, by the younger Jack Warner. So, yeah, brothers really fare well. Well, directors, uh, aren't the Cone, Cone Brothers directors really brothers? Uh, out of Columbia? Probably. No, Cone. I would say. No, the Cohen brothers. Cohen brothers. The current brothers. Oh, the Cohen. Well, there was also Harry Cohn from Columbia oh. Pictures. So, yeah. just so you know. Right. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but I would say that, uh, yeah, the Cohen brothers do make pictures, too, and you're right about that. Now, um, let me just offer as, an, as a, another dynastic family, not as big as the Barrymores, but two brothers who did very well in film. That was Frank Morgan and his brother, Ralph Morgan. Ooh, I and don't, that may not I don't think I know not. Ralph Morgan. Well, you know, you should, and I'll tell you why in a second. Frank Morgan, obviously, the more well-known. He was the wizard in The Wizard of Oz. He was Mr. Matichek in the shop around the corner. Yeah. Very familiar, very flustery. Oh, my gosh, bust my buttons. That's a yeah. horse of a different color. Oh, you know, he had that wonderful yeah. voice. <laughs> but he was not as beloved as Ralph Morgan during Hollywood's Golden Age. Why? Because Ralph Morgan helped form the Screen Actors Guild. He became their first president. And the Lifetime Achievement Award that's given away in 2022, this year at the SAG Awards, when they do give away that Lifetime Achievement Award, it is called the Ralph Morgan Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, so Ralph Morgan very is very beloved. <laughs> very interesting. I'll have to look for Ralph Morgan. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, and there are those who think that Helen Morgan, the torch singer, Helen Morgan was related to them, but right. but she wasn't just yeah. I just want to make that really clear that she was not part of that, that family of, of, of right. performers. As, as you as you were uh, talking, I don't know whether we got it on screen yet, but uh, it's a, uh, uh, some conversations that the three of us have had. Uh, uh, you, I think you used the word dynastic, uh, like the Barrymores. There really aren't that, but you've got Goldie Horn and uh, her daughter, and uh, Goldie's, uh, I guess, in effect, husband, uh, Kurt Russell. Yes, Kurt Russell. So, oh, yeah, yeah. So you have things like that, and you have uh, Colin and, and Tom Hanks, but that's sort of, they're not the, really the same kind of blow it off the screen yeah, kind of you know, uh, people. If you want if you want gravitas, then you have to turn to Kirk Douglas and Michael oh, Douglas. Sure. And and Michael Douglas is the Oscar winner of the two. Kirk Douglas never won one. I mean, that's kind of an amazing yes, thing. Yes, it is amazing, yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of sad almost. And then you can't forget the Fondas. Oh. Henry, Jane, yep. Peter, Peter Fonda. Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, they, I mean, that's, if you want to talk about a little bit of a dynasty there, yes. that's right there. And Henry Fonda was about as good as it gets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he was one of the all-time great, you know, top 10 Mount Rushmore actors and one of the kings at Fox, you know, joining Tyrone Power and, and yeah. Shirley Temple. I mean, he, he really was one of the kings at Fox, yeah. 20th Century Fox. So, yeah, the Fondas and the Douglases are, are, are folks you can't forget. Manny, do you suppose in the uh, scheme, bigger scheme of thing, uh, looking over the decades, do you suppose the um, calling to a son or daughter to join the family business is more common than siblings, brothers and sisters? Um, 
Probably, although to be honest with you, I think it's the opposite is true. I think I think it's more common. Yes. Do I think that 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 that, that uh, parents want their family to go into show business? Uh, all you have to do is look at Lon Chaney and his son Creighton Chaney. We've had this conversation right. before. Yeah. Lon Chaney did not want his son in in the business, but he died prematurely. He died in 1930, right at the time when his son was you know 25 years of age. And he decided to honor his father by joining the business and even changing his name to Lon Chaney Jr. So, yeah, I mean, I think parents discourage it. I don't I think the Barrymores are an exception. Uh, but I think for the most part, uh, parents do discourage their children getting into um, into show business because it's, a, it's a, as we all know, we, we are, we're all in show business. Um, it's it's a tough it's a tough trade. It's a tough trade to be successful. We're lucky. We live in an age where there are more platforms. But back then, I mean, we're talking during the golden age, there wasn't even television. There was basically cinema yep. and radio. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you didn't have a lot of options like you do today. Pod. And they and they were all controlled by a very few people. Right. Exactly. That's exactly right. They were controlled yeah. by very, very few people. So... Yeah. It, you either were going to be successful or you w weren't. And, and if the hand of Zeus, or in this case, uh, Louis B. Mayer or, or Jack Warner said it was yeah. not to be, it wasn't going to happen for you. And that's just yeah. the way it was. You know, I, so, I, think a lot, I think a lot of people are saying that, you know what, another example that the three of you didn't uh, talk about were the three of us who actually have uh, the same birth name, Stooge, with a Stooge, the three Stooges. Uh, well, Art, there, you're right. There was Champ, Art, and there was there, there's uh, Art Mo, Stooge, and there's Banny Stooge, and there's John Stooge, and uh, we're 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 uh, I would say that we're a family, uh, and well, a, a famous one. Yeah, the Stooge, but you're right about the Stooges mm -hmm. too. And Larry Fine was, of course, the outlier, but that's okay. I mean, they had Champ and Joe and and, yep. and uh, Mo. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I forgot about the Howard family. <laughs> good call, Art. That's good. He ge he gives us the Foys and the and the Howards. That's that's pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm work. You know, I'm trying to earn my keep. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> well, not the pretty today. face. I'm not just the pretty face in this deal. You know, I got a half a brain, and I I tend you to earned, bring that with me. You've earned a cracker. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Manny. This has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun talking about the uh, golden age, the dynastic families of film. Well, it was my pleasure. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.